this thing, this is really cool. I've never seen Isn't that cool? This it's worth cool. more than you would think it is. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, March 16th. I have 10 eBay orders to ship out and some other orders outside of eBay as well. And after I'm done with that, I'm heading across town. I bought some more stuff from my buddy Justin. He has an online auction and the last like month or two, I've gone two or three times and when I go, I take him stuff to sell that sells on his auction and then I buy stuff from his auction too. So it makes the trip worthwhile. I had some stuff sell last night at his auction that I think went for like $300, so that was really good. And then I won three pieces as well for I think 160, 170, something like that. I'm excited to get it. Okay, first thing I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. This is a cycling jersey I got um, from like a flea market antique mall maybe a month ago. I paid $6 for it. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. And the next three things are going out to viewers that reached out to me via email. This is that... Um, pork chop or ham uh, that pig from toy story uh pretty cool he's got like wings from him i think that's uh one of the opening scenes in one of the movies it's like this big spaceship that's sold to danny for 35 dollars free shipping and then we've got the uh, nintendo power glove with the box manuals all that stuff that was part of that same buy uh, that i made last week that sold to eric for 80 dollars free shipping and then we've got the bubble blowing Coca-Cola Polar Bear with the original box. That sold to Veronica for $25 free shipping. Danny, Eric, and Veronica, thank you all so much for the support. Hope you like that stuff. Okay, pulling some more eBay orders. I sold a ton of the hunting stuff that I listed yesterday. Let's see, first thing is an E32. It's this knife right here. Um, you guys saw me buy all this hunting stuff Friday. I spent $1,300 on everything, and every, all the, the listed price of everything is right around $2,300, $2,400. Uh, and it's selling pretty quick. This knife right here sold for $21.99 free shipping. Next thing is an E41. Let's see, right over here, this little guy. This is a um, HDX Ultra Rest. So I think this is where like the arrow rests. Um, I don't know, some kind of an attachment for a bow. <laughs> I'm just trying to learn all this stuff. That sold for $59.99 free shipping. Next thing is a release in B21. Let's see. This guy right here. This is by True Fire. Uh, it's a leather release and it sold for $69.99 plus shipping. I sold the quiver. This guy right here. It's by Tight Spot. Holds five arrows. Um, not new, but it did have the packaging. That sold for $89.99 plus shipping. All right, we're pulling more hunting stuff. Uh, something that an F-32 sold. This guy right here, this is called an everything pocket. Uh, really lightweight, it's not gonna cost much to ship. That sold for $17.99, free shipping. Next thing's a flashlight. Back here in F-41. Matter of fact, I think I sold two things out of here. So here's the flashlight, and I'm pretty sure this armrest sold. Uh, the flashlight sold for $29.99, free shipping. And this arm guard, new in the packaging, sold for $10.49 free shipping, and that's going out to a viewer named Jimmy. Jimmy says, saw this in your video, and I lost mine last year. Thanks for all the videos. You have been a big inspiration for me starting into reselling. Me and my wife are starting a YouTube when yard sales start up, front yard flippers on eBay and soon to be YouTube. Jimmy, I appreciate the support. Thanks so much. Okay, last thing shipping out today is over here at A31. It is this... Uh, Aero Square, G5 Aero Squaring device. I guess this, um, you put your arrows in here and that squares them off apparently. I really don't know. New in the packaging, that sold for $48.99 for shipping. You go ahead, I'm not using David. Oh, okay. Got little box here. What's going on? Hey, how's it going? Good, man. Watch us some more stuff. Awesome. You can do these however. I'd made lots of like, there's Legos. Okay. This is uh, all vintage, vintage cars. I think this is like He-Man, Transformers. And then this is uh, CB radios and stuff. Cool. Um, this is lenses and a camera. Perfect. And then I got two more things. All right. Uh, 
uh, that should be all of it. And okay. I won three things this time. All right. This thing, this is really cool. I've never seen Isn't that cool? This it's worth cool. more than you would think it is. Really? Yeah, it's also okay. about 100, 150 bucks. Are you kidding me? Nope. I mean, obviously, I don't know what's, what specific model or whatever this is. Right. But they're very collectible. Wow. Yeah. And the fact that this isn't, I couldn't find any cracks in the pictures. No, it looked like it's, yeah, it's in good it shape. Yeah, it's in good shape. Good cleaning. How big is that fridge? Is it kind of a mini fridge? Yeah, it's actually sitting right there. Oh, that's not too bad. No. So you guys tested it works out? I don't remember on this one. Justin yeah, might have. It does? Awesome, thanks. So I don't think I did this one. I'm gonna oh, try to step yeah. right here. I, I'm not, I shouldn't have backed up so far. That's okay. I'll get it. I gotta be able to get it out myself anyways, sure. yeah. Yeah, that's not terrible, no. but yeah, I think it's probably too heavy to ship. I have to do local pickup on this one. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I got all that stuff dropped off to Justin, and I picked up my auction winnings as well. I got three different things. I spent a total of $190 after tax and buyer's premium. I got some vintage model cars. They're not, you know, new in the box or anything. They kept the box tops, which I think is interesting. The box bottoms aren't there, but they're all assembled and they all look really clean. First, we've got this one right here. This is a monogram Camaro High Roller. Just has an awesome look to it. I saw a sold comp of this one, like complete, you know, unassembled for a hundred. So I might get around 50, 75 for that one. This one right here is a, a Ravel Super Spider Chevy Monza. It's got the top two. Uh, I saw a sole comp of 50 on that one. So, you know, maybe 25, 30, I think I could get for that. And then lastly, we've got this Ravel Funster Malibu. I think this one is pretty rare and uncommon. I can only find one comp on that and it had sold for 130. I got this little guy right here. Doesn't look like much, but this is an antique drinking fountain. Based on the size of the bowl, I think it has some really serious age to it. And these, believe it or not, sell pretty well. I saw some sold comps for similar ones around $100, $150. Last thing I got is this big Red Bull fridge. Justin said he tested it out, works great. And it's in pretty good shape. I mean, it's got like, you know, some nicks here and there. The uh, handles got a little bit of damage there. But overall, I mean, it's a good looking fridge. eBay sales for this used are between like $250 and $400, which is really, really high. And it shows that they shipped it. I really don't want to ship this if I don't have to. So I'm going to try to list it locally and maybe ask somewhere around $200 for it. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.